Let me show you how you can take any AI agent or automation that you create inside of NADN and turn it into its own web app using Lovable. It's actually pretty easy to do, and it's one of the most important things that you need to know if you want to eventually sell these workflows. So first thing you need is your NADN workflow. In this example, we are going to be using my stock analyzing AI agent. You just give it a stock or whatever sort of cryptocurrency you want, and it gives you back a chart as well as a bunch of analysis. So simply attach the webhook to your AI agent, set it to production URL, and copy that. You're also going to want to set it to respond using webhook. And then we're actually going to attach another webhook to the backside. That's what's actually going to talk to Lovable. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set this workflow to active, and then we're going to go over to Lovable. Now here inside of Lovable, you're just going to give it a prompt for whatever kind of UI you want. And at the end of that prompt, give it the webhook URL that we just copied from N8N. Once it's built the UI, now you just got to go ahead and test it. So in this case, we're just going to give it Tesla as the ticker, and then we can jump back into N8N go to the execution tab and actually see how it's working. Now, what you're often going to have to do is you need to look at the actual output of your N8N backend. In this case, I go to the final webhook and I'm going to copy that output and paste it back into Lovable and just say, hey, here's what the output from N8N looks like. Make sure you understand how to parse this information and display it correctly. And that final output is what you see here. You can see the chart, you can see the summary, it broke down all the technical and sentiment analysis, and it even gave us the final report at the very end. So that's how you connect an NADN backend to a lovable front end. Just give it the webhooks, give it a little prompting back and forth when you get your output, and just tweak it till you see something you like. Now, if you want to get your hands on this AI agent or other guides of how to set up this sort of AI infrastructure, just go to the link in my bio. I have tons of guides for free of how to do just that.